Welcome back. You've seen these, right? Dahlias are everywhere here in the Pacific Northwest, brightening even the rainiest of days. Well, now researchers at OHSU found a game-changing compound in these vibrant flowers that could fight cancer and other diseases. This breakthrough shows that hope can bloom in the most unexpected places. We can grow live cells, live nerve cells. In the lab at OHSU, Dr. Larry Sherman and his team are unlocking secrets from dahlias. These are all different types of cells. The results could change cancer and neurodegenerative disease treatments forever. It's putting that puzzle together that's really exciting. Years of dedication led to this breakthrough, thanks in part to a nun turned professor. That's the coolest part of doing I don't know what's going to happen next research. And that's the kind I like. Dr. Angela Hoffman and her students from University of Portland turned pretty flowers into a powerful discovery. Their years of work on orange and yellow dahlias led to sulfuritin. More on that in a moment. Now she sees them in a whole new light. I say thank you for your pigments. I love it. <laughs> so here's how it works. When inflammation triggers cement production, it breaks down hyaluronic acid, making nerve repair harder in MS and helping cancer cells grow. But sulfuretin, that key ingredient, blocks cement, boosting nerve repair and making it tougher for cancer cells to thrive, offering new hope for treatment. And it's not just MS and cancer. Researchers say it may also treat Alzheimer's, other brain injuries, and even cerebral palsy. It's called a wet lab space, um, so we do a lot of molecular biology and biochemistry here. From the lab to the next phase, Dr. Sherman says the goal is to test sulfuretin in animals to see how it works. Just one step of many toward potential new treatment options. If we can do anything that's going to help that group of patients in any way, I, it would be just, it would blow my mind. It would be awesome. It's important to note here, both doctors stress that while dahlias are beautiful, they're not for eating. The key here is a specific compound from that flower. From here, though, medical chemists will work to turn it into a potential drug.